Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, that's right. We're leveling up the studio. We fixed it. We should have all of the things fixed. So last week's, uh, well, well, last night's hiccup should be fixed. Winning. But uh, let's get on to it. As always, welcome back, you inglorious bastards and magnificent bitches. It is I, Doc Camo, and we're back for my thought of the day. And today, we're going to talk about that eccentric billionaire Elon Musk's borderline Bond villain. <laughs> we're going to talk about cryptocurrency, a little bit of space, and uh, the colonial pipeline hack, because I think this is funny. <laughs> but before we get into that, there was a new we. It's been up there for a bit, but if you haven't heard yet, we have a new shirt. A new shirt on the um, the merch store. The Like a Government shirt. <laughs> May not be good to look at, but I fuck like the government. Um, we're going to give that shirt away to a random subscriber at the end of the month. So stay tuned for that. We'll reach out and ask you like your sizes and stuff. And then, then get that going out to you guys. Uh, if you want to support us, you can get it on our merch store. I don't know how long we're going to have it up. I kind of want to like rotate things in. And, and make shirts as we're going going along. Got to get an artist going. But we'll, we'll get it going. But anyways, please like, share, subscribe. Leave a review. Do all those things that help us boost us in the algorithm. Because only you can help us beat the censorship machine. But anyways, let's get into this already. The FBI identifies group behind Pipeline Hack. The attack by Darkside, a relatively new criminal group believed to have roots in Eastern Europe, exposed the remarkable vulnerability of key American infrastructure. <laughs> Winning! No. How uh, they believe, like, I thought these guys fucking came forward and, like, apologized. That B Biden said Monday that the United States would disrupt the and prosecute a criminal gang of hackers called Darksides, which the FBI normally blamed for a fucking huge ransomware attack that has disrupted the flow of nearly half of the gas line and the jet fuel supplies to the eastern coast. <laughs> hackers shut down pipeline. Gas prices start going up. Hackers, I'm sorry I shut down pipelines. We were just trying to go after the fucking corporations. Winning. No. You uh, suck. So you're the ones that shut down our pipeline. FBI. He kind of wins for the lawless victory. The FBI clearly concerned that the ransomware effort could spread issued an emergency alert to electric utilities, gas suppliers, and other pipeline operators to be on the lookout for code like the kind that locked up Colonial Pipelines, a private firm that controls the major pipeline, Garris, Diesel, and Jet from Texas. I mean, be, before I jumble this up, because this, I, I can't really think until I, I get this fucking thought off my fucking head, because that's how my brain works. But don't these things, shouldn't these things have like a manual opening or a manual clothing, closing so like this type of shit can't happen since it's our like key infrastructure? Yeah, I'm just no. thinking. The, the pipeline remained offline for four, fourth day on Monday as a preemptive measure to keep the malware that infected the company's computer networks from spreading to the control systems that run the pipeline. So far, the efforts, effects on gasoline and other energy supplies seem minimal, and Colonial said it hoped to have the pipeline running again by the end of the week. The attack prompted emergency meetings at the White House all through the weekend. Yeah, that fucking... Winning! No. You suck! Beijing Biden and fucking Darth Harris, they ain't helping you with that shit. All through the weekend, as officials trying to understand whether the episode is purely a criminal act intended to lock up Colonial's computer networks unless it paid a large ransom or was it the work of a Russian was it the Russia or other state that is using criminal group covertly so far intelligence officials said that the indications are that it was simply an act of extortion by the group which began to deploy some ransomware last August and is believed to operate from Eastern Europe possibly Russia there was some evidence even in the group's own statements on Monday that suggested the group had intended simply to extort money from the company and was surprised that it ended up cutting off the main gasoline and jet fuel supplies for the eastern seaboard. You the suck. attack exposed the remarkable vulnerability of the key conduit for the energy in the United States as hackers become more brazen in taking a critical infrastructure like a electric grid pipelines, hospitals, and water treatment facilities. The City's government of Atlanta and New Orleans, and in recent weeks, the Washington, D.C. Police Department have also been hit. Damn, they're getting fucking brazen. I mean, at least it fucking happened while we're doing this, and it wasn't like 
in this like shitty like ransom attack and it wasn't actually an attack attack because now we can isolate the problem and unfuck it but we're probably not going to do that because fucking Beijing Biden and Darth Harris are in office Winning. the explosion no. of ransomware cases have been fueled by the rise of cyber insurance which has been made companies and governments ripe targets for criminal gangs that believe their targets will pay and of cryptocurrency which makes extortion payments harder to trace. In this case, the ransomware was not directed at the control systems of the pipeline. Federal offices and private investigators said, but rather the back office operations of Colonial Pipeline. Nonetheless, the fear of greater damage forced the company to shut down the system, a move that drove home the huge vulnerabilities in the patched together network that keeps gas stations, truck stops, and airports running. A preliminary investigation showed poor security practices at Colonial Pipeline, according to federal and private officials familiar with the inquiry. The lapses, they said, most likely made an act of breaking into locking up company systems fairly easy. Colonial Pipeline has not answered questions about what kind of investment it has made in protecting its... It should answer those fucking questions and refuse to say whatever it is paying the ransom and the company appeared reluctant to federal officials bolstered its defense. Don't pay that fucking ransom. Americans do not negotiate with terrorism. Let's fucking make America America again. That's how winning right is now, done. They've not asked for cyber support from the federal government and new... Newberg, the Deputy National Security Advisor for Cyber and Emerging Technology, told reporters at briefing at the White House, she declined to say whether or not the federal government would arise paying the ransom, noting that the companies are often in difficult positions if their data is encrypted and they do not have backups and cannot recover the data. Well, Mrs. Nuremberg, Newberger did not say so. That that appears to be, a, I can't fucking read today, it appears to be essentially what happened to Colonial. Uh, Mr. Biden, who is expected to announce an executive order in the coming days to strengthen America's cyber defenses, said that there was no evidence that the Russian government was behind their attack. But he said he planned to meet with President Vladimir Putin, Putin of Russia soon. The two men are expected to hold their first summit next month. And he suggested Moscow before some responsibilities because dark side is believed to have roots in Russia and the country provides a haven for cyber criminals. Oh, my God. Winning. No. You suck. There are governments that turn a blind eye for affirmatively encourage these groups. Groups in Russia is one of those countries, said Christopher Painter, the United States former top cyber diplomat, putting pressure on safe havens for these criminals has to be part of any solution. Uh, I mean, no, I, we need Russia, but the fucking Thucydides trap China. But anyway, Colonial's pipelines. So yeah, I, no, not anyway. We can't. We're not going to win that fight without everybody on board. Colonial's pipeline feeds larger storage tanks up and down the East Coast and supplies seem plentiful in part because of reduced traffic during the pandemic. Colonial issued a statement on Monday saying its goal was to substantially resume service by the end of the week, but the company cautioned that the process would take time. I hope they can get it bucking up. Elizabeth Sherwood Randall, because the fucking gas prices are already skyrocketing. There's Will, I, I mean, hyperinflation's coming, and we're probably entering a depression, but that's, that's a whole other topic. Yeah. Elizabeth Sherwood Randall, Mr. Biden's Homeland Security Advisor and a former Deputy Secretary of Energy in the Obama administration, said that the Energy Department was leading the federal response and had convened the oil, natural gas, and electric sector utility partners to share details about the ransomware attack that discuss recommended measures to mitigate further incidents across the industry. She noted that the federal government had relaxed rules for drivers who transport gasoline and jet fuel by truck in an effort to alleviate the effects. I don't know if we can alleviate the effects. Like It, it is what it is. Uh, right now, there is not a supply shortage, she said. We are preparing for multiple possible contingencies, but she said the job of getting pipeline back online belonged to Colonial. Yeah, that's because you, you don't want the government in your business. Uh, too, I mean, I, I don't blame who wants the government in their fucking business. Uh, too many officials have struggled for years to protect the United States critical from cyber cyber attacks. The only surprise about the events of the past few days is that they took long to happen while Leon E. Panett was Defense Secretary near Barack Obama. Mr. Panetta warned of a cyber Pearl Harbor that could shut off power and fuel and phrase often used in an effort to get Congress and corporations to spend more cyber. Yeah, like... Put in a fucking manual. Cut the computer off and fucking turn it on and off the fucking old-fashioned way. That's how winning is done. I mean, having the computer is fine, but it, you should be able to cut that bitch off and, and, and open it the old fucking fashion way. During the Trump administration, the Department of Homeland Security issued warnings about Russia malware and the American power grid, and the United States mounted a not-so-secret effort to put ma malware in the Russian grid as a warning. Winning. No. You more fucking cold war crap you know i i'm done with that fucking garbage this is not winning i we gotta stop with we we need everyone on board to defeat china
China is the motherfucking threat. <laughs> but our fucking the, our power grid is abysmal. We're gonna have to unfuck that soon. I'm just fucking saying. All right, moving along. Uh, Elon Musk has been in the news again. The Dodge King, the Techno King of Tesla, winning. He was on Saturday Night Live, and I guess he uh, he pissed in some people's Wheaties. They 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 needed a safe space. <laughs> but let's get into this article. So it's a SNL guests. Oh my God, the woke generation. Why are you going to do this now? I already had this managed. Yeah, it's on. Winning. No. You suck. I don't, I don't understand why that's. It was on, but it's not working. Stupid ad block. <laughs> the new woke generation of the Saturday Night Live cast is armed with social media accounts and not afraid to use them. When it was announced that billionaire Elon Musk, the elongated man himself, would be hosted this weekend. Several of them took shots online. But an industry source who had knows the show intimately told the Post that the cast are getting too big for their britches. Damn straight. They can tweet and do whatever they want on social media. They weren't told to take down their messages. When Musk tweeted, let's find out just how live Saturday Night Live really is, Bo Yang, Bo and Yang replied, what the fuck does this even mean? <laughs> Why are people getting so fucking buttered about fucking stupid fucking comments? Yeah. It's a jest. Jabs, real men. We jab at each other like that, you fucking cunt. That's how winning is done. Oh. Meanwhile, right heard feature player Andrew Dismukes posted on Instagram, only CEO, I want to do a sketch with this Chief E. Ottery with the photo of SNL alum Cherry Ottery. <laughs> winning. No. You Suck. Oh my god. You suck. People suck ass. Your show sucks. Yeah, fucking no. Elon Musk put fucking life back into it. A long time cast member, A.D. Bryant, shared a message that many perceived to be a dig at Musk too. She retweeted Senator Bernie Sanders calling it a moral obscenity that the 50th wealthy people in America today are more wealth than the bottom half of our people as the Friday. Well, the bottom half of our people don't want to fucking work. Winning. No. You suck. <laughs> uh, as a Friday, Musk's worth $166.7 billion, according to Forbes. Putting him not far behind Jeff Bezos as the world's richest person. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's a ridiculous amount of wealth that you don't need. And even he realizes he doesn't need that wealth. And he's been selling properties and shit. And like, but anyway, that's a whole other fucking story about this dude. If you really want wealth, work. You know the signs at McDonald's saying, I'm sorry for the wait or whatever. Like, you know, people don't want to work. People are like fucking... No. Yeah, it's, it's no. What it is. As page six reported, cast members were told that they had any issues that didn't have participated in the episode. SNL is very ins insulated, as NBC sources told the Post. Lauren protects his cast. They don't feel like part of a wide, wide, wider company. It is an unusual workplace agreement. The Post has confirmed that if any cast member does not sit out, does sit out the show, they still gets weird. They still get paid. Winning. No. If they were elsewhere, they would have been suspended for tweeting, but they can do whatever they want. Lawrence has never said ha, ha, has never said to anybody they have to turn up for the show, said the industry source for the cast. There's no repercussions. Stop it with the hysterical reactions. <laughs> you're saying, like, this guy's a cuck. This boss is a cuck. If you don't show up for work, you're fired. Like, plain and fucking simple. You don't show up for work, you're fucking fired. You're fired. Uh... <laughs> If the comedians think they have a sway over who is asked to be a guest, they're wrong. James Andrew Miller, who penned the book live from New York about the NBC show that launched in 19... Damn, it's been... It was fucking that old. Told the Post that everyone on the show agrees, but what is funny or who said should host, but Lauren is the decision maker, the buck stops with him. I just said this younger generation's just not funny. It's like the woke garbage is not funny. There, ha I mean, making fun of woke garbage is funny, but woke garbage is not funny. Uh, there have been a handful of times where cast members have wanted him to rescind the guest choice or musical guest. With the social media, it's easy to say something and re suddenly realize maybe I went too far. Miller said both Bryant and Yang deleted their Musk tweets. <laughs> Winning. No. You suck. Winning. <laughs> Uh, the truth, Miller added, there isn't a set of orthodoxies one has to embrace to be host of Saturday Night Live. 
Back in February 2013, an 18-year-old Justin Bieber hosted for the first time against the wishes of many of the casts who thought he was an entitled pop star, the Post is told. Saturday Night Live vets Jay Farrell and Bill Hardo later confirmed on Bravo's show what, what happened. 